Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Starfield with Bad Day Guy Gaming, where, as promised, it's time for another outpost tour. My outpost, as you can see in the uh, bottom left side of the screen here, is Turna 8C. I found a nice little spot between the hills. There's a jungle slash swamp right over there, and plains. And this did pretty good. It gave me a whole slew of wrong button, a whole slew of resources, tantalum, iron, uh, alkanes. I've got titanium, tungsten, several others. Uh, quite a good batch here. I almost got lead in, but I had to move over because there was a little bit of spot over here that was reserved it looked like that was a spawn point for something but after i built it let me start building in there and nothing's ever spawned in so that worked out pretty well for me as far as location go i have tons of ships landing all around as usual i do have a uh, relay station over there communication station that respawns daily so that's been nice to get some stuff i also have a handful of science posts different things like that and way off in the distance over there, I have a civilian outpost with a trader. So that's worked out pretty well for me because I can loot this place every day, sell everything over there to get a little bit extra money and buy any extra decorations and things like that that I've needed. So I've searched out the vast majority of the places. There are still a few that I haven't gotten to, but they're all like life signs and things like that. But let's get in here and give you guys a tour. As you can see, I do have a new ship. I shall be giving you guys a little bit of a sneak peek and look at that as well. But first, let's get into the OP here. Now, I've got the usual windmills. Everything's lit up at night. It will be dark before long, so we'll be able to give a tour of the place at night as well. But this is my main hab. I've got my own uh, work spot, and yep, the door's opening because, yeah, I got myself a uh, attack dog droid here. He's worked pretty good keeping the place up. There are a handful of hostile animals here, so he's been able to keep that going. This here, when you come in, which is military, hab as usual, which is part of why the military dog likes to come in here. Uh, this is my workshop area, so not excessively decorated but still quite nice I've got my four weapon loadout plus the cutter makes five but I have all of my ammo here explosive here just in case I want some explosive ammo because I do have a handful of explosive weapons uh, this is where I store various suits and weapons that I'm keeping weapons workbench um, I added on a little storage here because I needed a place for a couple extra trunks without filling up the room. This will be going away soon. Let's see. I have your basic little work area here. The duck hanging out on the water. My trademark. It looks like my shipment of vacuum tape finally came in. So that's pretty cool. I've got the research workstation. Things like that. A handful of uh, basic supplies and stuff around. And entering into the main living space. Once again, I have my main sitting area here with some plants so people can have their oxygen, a little bit of light reading around. Uh, kitchen area, as usual, I keep it uh, quite well equipped. So I've got all the varieties. Oh, it looked like the milk fell over. It's okay, it's sealed. Plenty of food, plenty of everything to keep uh, the place going here. Got my snacks and things around my uh, morning drink got food storage little gaming area here some basic games and information and stuff nice little seating area handful of stuffed animals and things around as usual got uh, soda pop here at my computer desk with my usual snacks and my binoculars so I can keep an eye on things uh, main computer workstation for monitoring everything here in the outpost. Do have a little seating area here, which is, you know, mostly just for visitors and things like that. Nothing super special. I do keep a few books and things around in here, though. Another water cooler here with the sports drinks because 
the gym area again nothing excessive just enough to help out being in the low gravity and all uh, basic work area here handful of things that I'm working on to keep going I have a little personal storage area here where I also kind of keep things and work on things I've got a good collection of the pool balls now if I can just get a pool table uh, main bedroom area for me here where I kind of hang out do have a few odds and ends all my pain meds thanks to my missions a uh, handful of basic items around for decorations elder scroll the usual things like that heart of mars and this is my main living quarters which i've been quite happy and comfortable in but now let's go have a look at some of the other habs and areas that i have around I do have uh, a good variety of uh, miners and locations and things around again. So again, iron over there. There's the lead over there. I mean, it's just outside of range, but I just couldn't fit it in. I would have had to give up too much area to the uh, lock territory there. So let's check my storage area here first. So the Habs, everything's lit up at night. Basic computer terminals around and everything to uh, give it a look of life and functionality as usual. This is my main storage. Nothing super great. Just mostly sorting of crates, different kinds of ammo, stuff I use, stuff I don't. All of my usual things, uh, grenades, explosives, have books, magazines, various storage of all different kinds of things down here, clothing, some of the extra stuff. My alphabetized sorted storage there for all my decorative items and everything. Kind of similar to how I did a lot of my other OPs, except I went slightly simpler in this one and a slight bit more into the decoration side. So, got figured out I could use the crates of the ship parts for decoration as well. I've got so many of them, I've been selling them, and then I realized they make nice looking little crates. This is my med lab and my uh, farmer's residence here. That person manages both my greenhouses and my barns, which we'll get to in a moment. This is my main med lab and research station. Have the usual here with all my little bits of things around that I'm not supposed to have. Uh, basic little computer setup, monitoring some of the tests and things going on. This is the one and only bathroom that I have made because again, they just don't have anything the plants sink in. Hold on. And there we go. Oh, this is the first time in a long time I've had anything sink in. So I'm going to have to keep an eye out for that. Anything else anywhere else? No, it doesn't look like anything else has sank in. But yeah, as you can see, I've got my research area piled up. All my internal organs and everything like that here. Uh, some basic food and stuff for the guest in residence here. Well, for the patients, I should say, if anyone comes in, plus all the researchers, you know, we can might as well live reasonably well. I have some basic research equipment here, research station, some of my samples and everything we're working with here, uh, some oxygen tank storage. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? Uh, some pretty basic stuff, nothing super exciting so let's get on up to my farmer's residence which we have to come around to this side for again weapon watching this side over here because occasionally I will have some bugs sneak in I've got some weapons spread around the place and then I have two different security robots so they help keep the place going pretty good 
when they first come in they've got the little work area here where their basic packs equipment and some of the things around that they've been working with uh you know bed piggy bank some of the very standard stuff looks like it's starting to get a little dark already main seating area over here which they pretty much sit at and nibble on some food and drink their dinner uh, they're a little more sparse here when it comes to the food. They live mostly off the prepackaged stuff. Looks like they did make a sandwich though. Some of the simpler goods on the top. Ooh, looks like they're gonna pop some worms. Sort of like popcorn. Um, being of course the botanist and taking care of the animals. They're always doing various testing, grinding things up to see what they can make out of stuff. Uh, basic computer terminal a desk here where they monitor some of their animals and everything again nothing exceptional now let's go ahead and come down and in my usual fashion I have all my terminals and everything around to monitor all my storage uh, let's check out some of the greenhouses and again I do decorate even the greenhouses and things here you can see they have a little lab area set up here where they're doing some work some tools and supplies and things around so it's a lot more functional and lived in compared to the basic models. I like to fix it up a little bit. Again, we have this over here. Each one's slightly different. Some odds and ends, everything around. Get me down here again. Trademark terminals around. Dead crabs. Again, the... Uh, turrets where is he right there anytime any of these guys become a little hostile the guns take care of them pretty easily but again the usual things piled around looks like they're harvesting a little stuff here and there doing some of the work getting the place pretty well set up oh looks like they're getting set up to harvest again we've got several different ones of these around varieties of uh, decorations everybody looks hard at work got my various miners and things around and again as you can tell I like to put my terminals around to give it an appearance of a bit of functionality now we're moving into the livestock area over here I have my water extractors spread around to keep my greenhouses going. Greenhouses are feeding the barns. Um, one of the things I can't produce here is this tree produces structural material, but it can't be grown in the greenhouses, but I do have another outpost producing that. I've got three different animals. These are my little domesticated crabs here, which get stuck on, on occasion. Whoop. And so, yep, set up my extra terminals, some basic decoratives inside. Hey there, guys. Some of the usual storage and stuff around for supplies, for things that they might need. I don't really have anything upstairs above lighting. You guys need the door open so you can get in a little easier. Oh, there we go. Don't really have anything upstairs yet. I'm still waiting to get some uh, add-ons here to be able to do a little bit. Let's check this one. This is my little crawly bugs. They produce another resource. This place is pretty blank. I do have a handful items in, but not too much here. Where are they at? They're around here somewhere. Yeah, these are the little uh, small bugs. And then I have my big barn here for my big monster guys. These guys I love because they produce my lubricants that I could use to make a lot of my different things. As usual, very similar decorations and stuff around. Nothing upstairs. Some of the basics and things lying around. I have my big guard tower in the center, which I just have a few terminals and things up there. I'm not going to run all the way up there and make you watch that. But this works good because all the lights around this light up the whole barn area here pretty nice. There is a fourth animal on this planet I could farm, but it's one of the predatory ones. And he'll shoot at all of the other domesticated animals, so I don't produce him at all. 
Uh, let's see. This is titanium, and I think it's tungsten over there. For some of the different... Oh, or is it... Yeah, titanium here and tungsten over there. So I get both of these here, and simple layout again the basic terminals and stuff with some of the extra windmills and stuff that's lit up for nighttime now i don't normally do this to build a thing here but as i said i get attacked quite a bit here so i needed to do something to protect my reactors uh they kept taking out all my power as it is now even if they take out some of the windmills and some of the large solar power out here this will still be enough to actually run everything. So that works out pretty well. I do have usual transfer station. Um, again, power terminals over here to monitor all of these guys. I have a l nice little compact manufactured area. I have some storage over here, including I put one hallway section up here so that I could add this extra turret up here to watch this side. Because, yeah, a lot of stuff comes crawling out of the trees right there that they have to take care of on occasion. My basic manufacturing area. I haven't gone overboard with the decorations over here yet because I haven't 100% decided what I'm going to do with the place. I do have a minimum amount of consoles and things to give it a fully functional look. But having them all close together here has worked out pretty well with of course all the storage over there I've got my large scanner I decided not to build the other scanners here just because I kinda wanted uh, that light pole on the roof of that building and I don't like putting anything on top of mine I decided to go with another simple small solar generator up there just because I didn't like the whirring sound of having the other scanners on top quite so much and now finally we're going to be able to get to the ship this is class C I've given a little bit of a look at it before but I wanted to give you guys a full breakdown I again have four particle cannons and four missile launchers two at the bottom Two guns on the side, one at the top. I could have switched these around a little bit, but I kind of liked having the four missiles with the guns closer together. I just like the fire pattern when it fires. But she's short, wide, and like I didn't need to put this on. There's other storage that is, uh, well, lighter and carries more. It's just I really like the look of these with the red and white just because it seems to match the shape of it pretty well so I decided to go with that um, this is shielded cargo so I do have a little bit I will give you guys the specs here real quick reactor 28 crew of 6 uh, 26 light year jump 1127 on the shield I do 180 particle damage and 422 missile damage uh, let's see, she's got 320 shielded capacity with 3910 cargo total. So yeah, she gets me around. I just call it my broken toy box because I'm still not 100% satisfied with the design with this one. I just unlocked some more parts and a little bit of better things because doing all this building, of course, I have leveled up multiple times. So I've been able to get one more rank into the ship construction as well as upgrading my weapons and next points going into suits. So let's check weapons for now. Uh, running around, I did collect one of these off of a random person. So I like this one because it's double damage for instigating when full health, which means I can one shot most enemies with this thing especially if I hit them in the head uh, if I do hit them but not kill them it does corrosive randomly deals corrosive damage and I'll reduce targets armor for a six second period and it breaks through even the strongest armor 
So this thing does pretty good against humans. I've had some that were a little bit resistant when uh, just running around collecting things to decorate with, but not too much. It is the light fuse, which I don't like energy weapons, but I uh, thought I'd give this a try. Uh, found a new one of these. This is, uh, I call it my liquify stick because my grandpa's shotgun I ended up having to put away. This one is about 75% more damage than the other one did. So I upgraded to this one and I did make it an automatic since I just unlocked uh, th the ability to make certain weapons automatic. Now I still have my cheesy shredder but I changed it around a little bit. I put it onto burst fire. Uh, with the extended magazine it doubles the magazine capacity which still gives me 60 for the magazine capacity instead of 30 I would normally have with the armor piercing rounds on this so that's pretty cool it still does the corrosive damage which again lowers the armor rate and then it's the one inch punch so it fires like a shotgun spread this is cool because I tend to use this as a short range panic weapon now that it's on burst fire it works really well Still have my sniper, no changes there, and still have Diggy Pop, no changes there. So that's the way uh, we're at right now. We're going to have a bunch of new missions and tasks following. And I will give you guys a tour of the next OP that I have already selected once I get that one finished so we are slowly moving across the star map oh i can go ahead and give you guys a quick view of where this is now of course i started over here at tal city went up north here to nameria and then i went far south down here and this is on alpha turna system and I'm on Turna 8C, which is, of course, orbiting a gas giant. I still have a preference for those. And, of course, light gravity and the marginal flora and fauna. Now, the cool thing is, again, for if you look at the resources, I have water, iron, no lead. I've got my alkanes. I've got my tungsten. I've got my tantalum, titanium, and... Uh, what is that called the other the last mineral there dystopium I believe it is uh, yep this site Whoop. this site I think it's dystopium which comes in dysprosium yep this one comes in right here so yeah I've got this one all but one mineral in this location I just could not fit the lead in Otherwise, I would have had the entire planet's resources all right here. And, of course, adding the animals and plants. I This is now officially my most production outpost. With, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 7 out of the 8. So, 14 separate resources here. I could do the other animal, but I would have to wall it off somehow because it is hostile to the other animals and that would give me a 15th resource here. If I could have got the lead in that would have had a full 16 resources and I think that was just a bad luck of the draw that this one particular hillside here was for some reason a uh, locked location and you see it actually turns right there so it's just a small square the only thing I could think of it was some kind of like animal spawning location or something because there was nothing here but it did have the area blocked off and since I came in and built nothing ever showed up and then it let me start building in there now right up at the top of the hill there there is a military base but unless there was supposed to be something like a small tank or something exposed or spawning down here i'm not sure why that was like that but it worked out all in the end so i was able to build there's also a little area over here that was supposed to be locked as you could see it came in but then it let me start building in that area as well 
So I'm not sure why that did that unless those were just animal spawning points. And as soon as I came in and killed all the wildlife, it let me start building maybe. I'll have to test that out and figure that out in the future. But yep, this is the location. Worked out pretty well for me. It is now my best OP and I like how it turned out. So you guys can uh, fill in in the comments below what you think and let me know if you have any suggestions or anything that might help out. Now I'm not going to move my OP back over because I'm not rebuilding this whole place. So please don't tell me to move over the few feet in order to get lead in. I can get lead somewhere else. So, But yep, other than that, like how the place looks. Oh, there's a gun on top of each of the buildings there because most of my enemies that attack come from that direction. I do have the gun over here. And when they do come in from that landing pad right there, they'll usually take out these two guys these two uh, wind turbines first, which I can give up the power, but then they come running in and all these guns from both sides just eat them alive. So that's one of the reasons why I kind of use these as a bit of a uh, bait to lure them in because I do have ships land there on occasion. Oh, and yep. Yeah. In fact, this rebuild is from that ship been selling the rest of them as they come in so but yeah I've got a lot of landing spots around here including my usual three starborn ships that are parked around in various places and yep took care of those guys I always take care of them the second I see them but yep this is my ship give you guys a quick inside tour it's very basic when you first come in, I have a basic hab. I always keep beds close by so I can sleep while I'm out. I don't like to uh, go anywhere at nighttime. It's still got some of the decorative items around in here because I just changed some paint colors so it all respawned. i got to collect all that again. And that's it. This is literally the only hab downstairs. Using the ladders to come to upstairs. Hi, what do you need? And I have my crew quarters here, so hey, or not crew quarters, my crew stations, so I can have a couple of extra crew members working. Is there a way to go faster than the speed of light? And none of that grab tech cheating? No, there's not. But yep, this is the ship. This is the OP. And there's Vasco doing his Wally in it, imitation. Yep, I've taken Vasco as my companion, hey so he's going? going to be the one following Your us out. Smells so much better than Dad's, like a lot. Oh, well, thank you. It's brand new, and uh, yeah, we're going to have some missions to get to, and we're going to take Vasco along. So we'll see you guys next time.